Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important questions of December 2019 so now let's start Chilai kala sometimes seen in news is related to which of the following right answer is harsh period of winter in Kashmir so actually it is a period of severe winter in Kashmir and it is a 40 day period where there is a intense snowfall which railway station was recently awarded e trite station certification right answer is chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus railway station so recently chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus railway station in mumbai was awarded e trite station certification this certification was given under e trite movement a chat and voice calling app has been labeled as a spy app by the united states intelligence and therefore it was removed from play store as well as from app store now the question is what is the name of this app so the name of this app is totok actually it is a chat and voice calling app that became quite popular however as per the us intelligence agencies this was a spy app that means it was used for the surveillance purpose what is the name of new initiative which was installed at nasik station to tackle the air pollution right answer is oxygen parlor so oxygen parlor is an initiative introduced in nasik railway station and it is a project between indian railways and air guard the nela mangla detention center is the first detention center for illegal immigrants now the question is it is situated in which state of india right answer is karnataka so this nela mangla detention center is the first of its kind in karnataka and it is meant for housing illegal immigrants pakistan one among the three countries in the world with polio endemic is planning to import polio markers from india which are the two other countries so answer is afghanistan and nigeria currently there are only three countries in the world where polio is still endemic these three countries are pakistan nigeria and afghanistan which region of africa was recently deemed as most unequal on the continent by undp in terms of income right answer is south africa here south africa means the southern part of africa not the south africa as a country so as per the human development index by undp southern africa is the most unequal region and inequality was at the highest in south africa and nigeria The US Mexico border wall construction is threatening which of the following protected site right answer is Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument so it is a UNESCO biosphere reserve and it is a US national monument now it shares a border with Mexico and the proposed construction of US Mexico border wall is threatening this protected site on which date the good governance day is observed right answer is 25th of December So good governance day is observed on 25th of December every year and it is observed to mark the birth anniversary of former prime minister Mr Atal Bihari Vajpayee Strategic tunnel under Rohtang Pass was recently renamed after which of the following individuals right answer is Atal Bihari Vajpayee so it was renamed after Vajpayee ji it is a tunnel in Himachal Pradesh and it is present on the Pir Panjal range of Himalayas The Crimean bridge that was inaugurated recently is built across which strait right answer is Kerch strait so the Crimean bridge is a pair of russian constructed bridge that connect the Taman peninsula and Kerch peninsula of Crimea it is longest bridge ever built in russia and that's why it is important what is the purpose of epmb app of punjab government right answer is transparent functioning of mandi so epmb app of punjab government was introduced for improving transparency in the functioning of mandis on which date the national consumer day is observed right answer is 24th of december so national consumer day is observed on 24th of december india's national mathematics day is celebrated on 22nd of december every year now the question is that in whose memory this day is celebrated right answer is srinivas ramanjun so it is celebrated to commemorate mr srinivas ramanjun and that is why this national mathematics day is celebrated every year 
on 22nd of December. Now since 2012, every year on 22nd of December, National Mathematics Day is celebrated. Acute respiratory infection which is claiming the lives in Bangladesh is caused by which organism? Right answer is virus. So acute respiratory infection has claimed the lives of 16 individuals in Bangladesh and that's why this thing was in news. Who received the Dada Sahab Falke Award in 2019? Right answer is Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. So Dada Sahab Falke Award is India's highest award in cinema. And this award is presented annually at the National Film Award Ceremony. And this is set up by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. And this year, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan received Dada Sahab Falke Award. Who won the 2019 Jharkhand Assembly elections? Right answer is Jharkhand Mukti Morcha. So recently elections held in Jharkhand and the alliance of Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, Congress and RJD won the state elections. Harshwardhan Sringla is going to be the next foreign secretary. Now who is present foreign secretary? Right answer is Mr. V.K. Gokhale that is Mr. Vijay Keso Gokhale. So Mr. V.K. Gokhale will be succeeded by Mr. Harshwardhan Sringla. Prior to Mr. V.K. Gokhale, Mr. S. Jaisankar was the foreign secretary. In which state India's first university for transgender community will be opened? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. So India's first university for transgender community will be established in Khushinagar district of Uttar Pradesh. The Russian ambassador recently brought up the Eurasian Economic Union with relations to India. Now how many countries are the members of this EEU that is Eurasian Economic Union? Right answer is 5. So 5 countries are the member of this EEU. These 5 countries are Russia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Belarus and Armenia. Britain has finally decided to leave the European Union on which decided date? Right answer is 31st of January 2020. So Britain is going to leave European Union on 31st of January 2020. Which organization gives forecast on general locust situation in global community? Right answer is FAO that is Food and Agriculture Organization. Actually recently Gujarat was in news because of this locust invasion. This is serious for the crops as this led to significant damage to crops. Which state is going to observe 2020 as Susashan Sankalp Wars? Right answer is Haryana. So Haryana is going to observe 2020 as good governance year. Army Design Bureau Excellence Award was presented to Major Anup Mishra this year for which indigenous invention? Right answer is bulletproof jacket. So recently Major Anup was facilitated by Army Chief General Bipin Rawat with Army Design Bureau Excellence Award and he was given this award for indigenously developing bulletproof jacket that can provide protection against various ammunition including sniper rifles. CDSCO was recently in news for flagging a large shipment of TB drugs as faulty. What does CDSCO stands for? So right answer is the Central Drug Standards Control Organization. So recently CDSO was in news for flagging a large shipment of TB drugs as faulty. ASI recently discovered Sanskrit inscriptions about Saptamatriksha in Andhra Pradesh. These were issued by which king? Right answer is Satwana King Vijaya. So recently ASI discovered inscriptions in Andhra Pradesh which was issued by Satwana King Vijaya. It is written in Brahmi script. Which app was recently released by the president to improve access to blood banks? Right answer is Red Cross app. So recently President of India released the mobile app of Red Cross Society of India in Hyderabad. So this app was developed by the Telangana Centre for Good Governance. Who is Madan Mohan Malviya who was recently mentioned in news? Right answer is Freedom Fighter. So Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya was a well-known freedom fighter and 25th of December is his birth anniversary. What is Sire Directory that was recently launched by 
Madhya Pradesh government. Right answer is matrimonial record of cattles. So recently, Madhya Pradesh Animal Husbandry Department has compiled matrimonial record of cattles and this was launched as sire directory. What is the upper limit of purchases from prepared payment instrument that is PPI which was recently introduced by RBI? Right answer is 10,000 Indian rupees. So recently RBI introduced a new prepared payment instrument. This PPI could be used for purchasing goods and services up to rupee 10,000. Recently Atal Bhujal Yojana was in news and it deals with which sector? So it deals with groundwater and it is a scheme for management of groundwater resources. Actually 25th of December is celebrated as Good Governance Day. The National Farmers Day is celebrated in the honor of which Indian Prime Minister? Right answer is Chaudhary Charan Singh. So National Farmers Day is celebrated every year on 23rd of December in the memory of ex-Prime Minister Chaudhary Charan Singh. He was the 5th Prime Minister of India. Which NASA spacecraft has recently taken a picture of asteroid Phetalon? Right answer is Parker Solar Probe. So recently Phetalon asteroid was in use as NASA's Parker Solar Probe has taken a picture of this asteroid Phetalon. The government recently announced free internet services to all villages by March 2020. Now which initiative will be used to achieve this objective? Right answer is Bharat Net. So Bharat Net will be used to provide free internet services to the old villages by March 2020. The African country Gabon is adjacent to which major gulf? Right answer is Gulf of Guana. So as you can see Gabon is adjacent to Gulf of Guana and recently it was in news because of piracy events. Actually four ships were attacked by pirates and that's why the Gulf of Guana as well as Gabon was in news. Galapagos National Park sometimes seen in news is located in which country? So right answer is Ecuador. So as you can see it is in Pacific Ocean and Galapagos Islands are the territory of Ecuador. Which of the following is the only ape found in India? Right answer is Haluk Gibbon. So the tailless Haluk Gibbon is the only ape found in India and it is the native to Eastern Bangladesh Northeast India and Southwest China. Which committee had recommended the setting up of post of Chief of Defense Staff? Right answer is KRC that is Kargil Review Committee. So the cabinet recently approved the creation of post of Chief of Defense Staff that is CODS. Now this post will help in the coordination among three branches of armed forces and this post is to be given to a four star general who is senior to the chiefs of all three defense forces and the creation of this post was recommended by Kargil Review Committee. The recently adopted Nagpur resolution deals with which sector? Right answer is improving delivery of public service. So recently Nagpur resolution was adopted during a regional conference organized by DARPG that is Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. Many civilians were recently killed in Burkina Faso due to terror strike in the military base. Now question is, it is situated in which part of world? West Africa. So it is a landlocked country and it is situated in the western side of Africa. And recently it was in news because of violence. Typhoon Fanafon had recently hit which of the following countries? Right answer is Philippines. So Typhoon Fanafon had hit the central Philippines. This Typhoon Fanafon is locally known as Ursula that means in Philippines it was also known as Ursula. Which of the following is called the falcon capital of world? Right answer is Nagaland. So Nagaland is called as the falcon capital of world. Where is China constructing the Dara Sakor International Airport? Right answer is Cambodia. So as you can see in the map this is Cambodia and this is the Dara Sakor region. FDA has recently approved Arwebo. Now what exactly is this Arwebo? Right answer is Ebola vaccine. So recently Food and Drug Administration became the first to approve this Arwebo and this is an Ebola vaccine developed by Marac. And recently Ebola was in news 
because of outbreak in Republic of Congo. Who has won the recent Afghanistan presidential elections? Right answer is Mr. Ashraf Ghani. So recently, Mr. Ashraf Ghani won the presidential elections in Afghanistan. Which American firm is developing the project Kuiper, which is to launch thousands of satellites into space? So Amazon is working on this project, and this will form a mega constellation of satellites that will provide low-cost space internet to public. And these satellites are to operate from Leo, that is low Earth orbit. The Swachh Saniwar scheme, which has been in news, is being implemented. in which state of india right answer is karnataka so the swachh saniwar is an initiative in the rural parts of bengaluru in karnataka and it is based on the swachh bharat abhiyan initiative the tark stream is a gas pipeline under which water body right answer is black sea so this tark stream is a natural gas pipeline link between russia and turkey and it is below black sea which university is to offer the novel Bhut Vidya course to tackle psychosomatic disorders right answer is BHU so BHU is set to offer a new course Bhut Vidya or ghost studies landing on peer to peer platforms has been capped at how much by RBI right answer is 50 lakhs to protect the interest of consumers RBI capped the landing on peer to peer platforms and this present cap is 50 lakhs rupee The recently unveiled long distance CNG bus project was executed by which natural gas distributor right answer is IGL that is Indraprastha Gas Limited so India's first long distance bus powered by CNG was unveiled in Delhi as per recently released report by Global Alliance on Health and Pollution which country saw the most deaths due to pollution right answer is our own country that is India So as per the new report 2019 pollution and health metrics global and regional as well as country analysis India saw the highest number of deaths due to pollution India is followed by China and Nigeria Minorities from which of the following country or countries have been permitted by RBI to open bank accounts in India right answer is Pakistan and Bangladesh so recently RBI amended the foreign exchange management regulations and therefore enabled the minorities from bangladesh and pakistan to open nro account nro stands for non resident ordinary rupee account what is recently tested sovereign runnet right answer is russian domestic internet actually the sovereign runnet is a domestic internet being developed and tested by russia this system allow russian government to control the point of connection between russia and rest of world so this will help in keeping an eye on russian internet and its connectivity with global network so this will allow government to restrict the internet national street food festival was organized by which of the following institutions right answer is nasvi that is national association of street vendors of india what is the objective of shiv bhojan program that was recently approved by maharashtra cabinet right answer is subsidized meal so this is a initiative to provide subsidized meal so as per this initiative the meal is provided at subsidized rate of rupee 10 at designated centers in the state of maharashtra what is lamost which recently provided information about 30000 dwarf stars right answer is an optical telescope so lamost stands for large sky area multi object fiber spectroscopic telescope it is an optical telescope and it is also known as guo shoujing which pre renasa artist painted the christ mocked painting which france is seeking to buy right answer is kimabu so the painting christ mocked is a work by kimabu and this work is from 13th century pre renasa era and french government is seeking to buy this artwork saudi arabia and kuwait decided to resolve the dispute over which oil region right answer is neutral zone actually recently saudi arabia and kuwait resolved their dispute over neutral zone which lies along their border so this is kuwait 
this is Saudi Arabia and this is the neutral zone this area is full of oil resources and that's why this was a bone of contention between these two countries Manuel Marrero Cruz is the Prime Minister of which country right answer is Cuba so Mr. M. M. Cruz is the new Prime Minister of Cuba and this is for the first time in last four decades that Cuba has appointed a Prime Minister the government has recently notified rules on micro dot identifiers this micro dot technology is used for what purpose right answer is vehicle id actually to enhance vehicle safety the ministry of road transport and highways notified rules for micro dot identifiers on motor vehicles and their parts what is eco which was recently announced by west african countries right answer is a currency so Eco is a common currency and it will be in circulation from 2020. Which government is going to conduct night walk to promote women empowerment? Right answer is Kerala. So Kerala Women and Child Development Department is going to conduct night walk for women. And the objective of this initiative is to spread awareness about the increasing violence against women. And this event is going to be conducted between 11 a.m. to 1 a.m at 100 locations in Kerala. The government recently invited applications for Nari Shakti Puruskar. Now the question is, after which eminent personality these awards are categorized? Right answer is Mataji Jabai. So Nari Shakti Puruskar is an award conferred by the president to the women under six institutional category on International Women's Day. The cruise ship Sabrina Victoria will operate in which river? Right answer is River Yangtze. So, Sabrina Victoria is a river cruise ship and it will be operational in 2020 in China's River Yangtze. It is largest river cruise ship and that's why it was in news. The Canal Istanbul project connects the Sea of Marmara with which sea? Right answer is Black Sea. So, as you can see on map, this is Black Sea, this is Sea of Marmara and this is Canal Istanbul project. Now the Canal Istanbul project involves a creation of artificial sea level waterway that connects the Black Sea and Sea of Marmara. Omar Al Basir against whom the government has initiated the criminal investigation was the former president of which country? Right answer is Sudan. So Mr. Omar Al Basir was the president of Sudan and recently he was in news because the Sudan government has initiated investigation into the crimes in Darfur region during the regime of Mr. Omar Al Basir. Which state has recently approved the Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule Farmer Loan Waiver Scheme? Right answer is Maharashtra. So recently Maharashtra government approved Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule Farmer Loan Waiver Scheme that allows waiver for crop arrears. The objective of this initiative is to make farmers debt free and to provide relief to non-defaulting farmers. Chokhandi Stupa, where recently Chinese sign boards were installed, is in which state of India? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. So Chokhandi Stupa is situated in Uttar Pradesh. And as per ASI, that is Archaeological Survey of India, it is a monument of national importance. And recently, ASI installed sign boards in Chinese as more than 1 lakh Chinese tourists visit this site. So, for, for their convenience, Chinese sign boards were installed. Recently, CBER 4A satellite was launched. Now, the question is, what is the objective of the satellite? Right answer is, monitoring of Brazil's Amazon rainforest. So, recently, the CBER 4A satellite was launched from China's Taiwan Satellite Launching Center. And it is a collaboration with between Brazil and China. Sahid Bahisti port, sometimes seen in news, is located in which country? Right answer is Iran. So the port is located in Iran. And this was in news recently because the 90th session of India-Iran Joint Commission held in Iran in Tehran. The newly inaugurated DNA Analysis Center in Chandigarh was established under which fund? Right answer is Nirbhaya Fund. So recently, a DNA analysis center was inaugurated in Chandigarh under Nirbhaya Fund scheme. 
The bar-headed goose, which was recently spotted in Kerala, are the native species of which countries? Right answer is China and Mongolia. So bar-headed goose is a rare migratory bird and they breed in China and Mongolia. And during winter seasons, they migrate southwards. The upcoming Aditya L1 mission is to operate from which orbit? Right answer is halo orbit. So this Aditya L1 mission is India's first solar mission and it will be launched by ISRO in 2020 and this will be operating from halo orbit. It is a three-dimensional operate and it is to operate from Lagrange point 1 that is L1. Sahid Uddam Singh whose 120th birth anniversary was observed recently is most associated with which incident? Right answer is Jallianwala Bagh tragedy. Actually recently on 26th of December the birth anniversary of Sahid Uddam Singh was celebrated. He is a well-known freedom fighter from Punjab. Which ministry recently launched the Good Governance Index? Right answer is Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. So Good Governance Index was launched by Ministry of Personal on the occasion of Good Governance Day. Good Governance Day is celebrated on 25th of December. So these were the most important questions.